I'll start with removing the plastic. We don't want to keep you guys from having a, you know, the plastic ASMR. So we'll start with that. Uh, and you realize I'd left the USB flash drive in there. We'll set that to the side. Get that out of the way. And let's find the beginning for the plastic. Here we go. Everybody loves a good plastic tool. Doesn't seem like this is going to be all that good. A little different on how they wrapped it, but that's all right. Okay, there's one piece. And here comes the next. Unlike a lot of covers, this one does have a distinct front and a distinct rear. You can see the stylization here. Let's change cameras. I'm recording on my laptop instead of my desktop, so no Steam Stream Deck. All right, so you can see it does have geometric shapes there. And on the back, we've got a exhaust port, so you can take that cover off and uh, ex run a, ca a hose from there to the outside or to a vent or something so that you can exhaust the nasty fumes of the three resin. So here is the printer itself. Uh, screw these and we'll move it off to the side. Nice thing is it does have those standoffs to keep it up. And I did grab this is the build plate for the LD, uh, uh, the Creality LD002R compared to the Saturn II. So almost three times the volume on X and Y, and it's probably about 100% uh, more, so maybe double uh, on the Z. So still nice uh, to have that extra volume. There is the uh, air purifier, air filter, whatever they call it, a purifier. I don't think it's going to purify too awful much, but it does have a little fan and some carbon in there. Uh, the instructions for it. On the printer, back here in the corner, there is a little cover to uh, pull off and there's a USB port there. So if you're not using it, you can leave the little rubber cover on. If you're using the air purifier, you just take it off and pop it in and it'll run. We're gonna leave it off and covered for now. All right, so first thing we need to do is level the bed. It comes with cardstock with for leveling and with the instructions uh, what I will do though is I will use a normal piece of copy paper to level instead of that uh, I've seen a number of reports online where this is too thick and people are having adhesion problems using the cardstock let's get our let's loosen this one up So that we can uh, do that. Our ball joints loose. Now, some say to remove the <laughs> to remove your cover. Some want that left on for protection. I want to make sure. All right. So they say we'll take it off. Uh, I do already have power, so let's get it plugged in and we'll do our PLD. All right, and move that a little out of the way. A nice clicky power button there. And now we're booting up tool system. So let's just see what they say here. Just to make sure I haven't messed with it yet. So I don't know for sure where it's at. Uh, we do want to go manual. 10 millimeter and we want to go up mm. 
Right, we've got to go quite a ways up so we can get the build plate on. That goes. There's that peel. So we are on now, and that doesn't appear to be over. There we go. Now it's over. It does have tape around the LCD, so if you do spill resin, it doesn't get under the screen. Now I've got my piece of paper, and we will go... They say to go down. We'll hit home. Let it go all the way down. It does have a fan. It's not too obnoxiously loud, but it is definitely there. Alright, well that is definitely tight. I don't know if I want it that tight. But it is most definitely tight. Build platform. I guess that's the nice thing about the, using the card though is uh, it will hold it in place. You'll be able to see where it's at better. Let's go up 10. Get our build platform lined up with our LCD. It looks like it is an optical end stop. That is nice and tight. Okay, so that should be leveled. And we need to go ten times up. It says. Take our paper out. Get our build platform, give it a nice PLEO as well, there we go, and it just slides in and it is keyed, so once it's in, it's not going anywhere, and you can just screw it down, make sure it's held in nice and tight. This isn't needed anymore, uh, and that should be it. It does come with, like I say, in the unboxing, some extra screws, the Allen wrenches you might need. That way, if you need to do maintenance on it, you can do so. Uh, haven't looked. I do have a resin lapse uh, for my Nikon, so I'm going to look and see how I can get a uh, resin in there to see. We should be good. Let's see if we've got. We do have a working screen. So we are good to go. I'll just have to get uh, some resin in it and set it up and start testing it out and see how I like it. See if I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> so hopefully I will as much as they were even on sale. Uh, I'll, I'm hoping that I can get it done does have some different menus, language and such. Don't want to change main language. Um, looks like it changes. 
looks like it's Chinese or English and when you tap it it changes tap it again it changes back gives you some info on uh, on it how to reach service print uh, see if there's anything on this flash drive So it does have some files on the flash drive. Most likely, I don't see the Rook. That's one of the ones that normally everybody likes to put on there. Uh, I'll have to look at it. Maybe there does. I don't see any, uh, any on there. So G2 box free for sure. Uh, this is a model, so there's the model. Yeah, it comes with the rook, and it's two rooks, so that's nice. Uh, and we've already been through there. We've already leveled it, set zero, so we should be good to go. Uh, now it's just, like I said, time to get some resin in there and start printing. Well, thanks everybody for watching, and y'all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.